Hey guys, welcome back to the FGC Weekly Air. My name is Will Wiley, and this is where we cover your news, your tournaments, and your trolley things for fighting games everywhere. How you doing? If you're watching this on my channel, how you doing? Stay, have some, have some coffee, sit down, take a seat. You know, you know the drill. If you're watching on the Cross Counter channel, namaste. I believe an intro slash summary of the show is in order. So this is the show I've been doing for a couple months now, where I go over the news and tournament things that I found the most interesting over the course of the past week, and then vomit that information at a camera in front of a green screen. Also explosions, because you can't go wrong with explosions. Now that that's out of order, let's get right into the news, shall we? First up in the news, Yoshinori Ono, the infamous Twitter troll, has been answering some more questions, but this time, rather than being ambiguously trolly, he just straight up shoots down people's ideas. For example, he's asked about the Street Fighter EX series, and will they get another addition to that? To which he replies, the chances are, are kind of small. More than that, he's asked if they're working on a new kind of fighting game, to which he says, we ain't got no money for that, we're sorry. And then when asked about Street Fighter V announcements, he simply said he will continue to be working for it by 2020. And remember guys, Yoshinori Ono and Capcom will have a panel at PAX East this coming weekend, and they're going to be unveiling two new products. Very curious, though I've always been a strong believer that the next title should be a new addition to the Super Puzzle Fighter series. Because that is hands down, the best series. The guys from Dive Cake, including Keats, have released the first episode in a series called Making of the Game for Dive Kick. The first episode goes over exactly how to mocap a dive kick. To do that, you have to go to Baller Town. The video is absolutely hilarious and I actually enjoyed the, the gameplay footage that was there. They got an epic mic drop. But the best thing about this trailer to me is at the end, the final five seconds, at the bottom of the screen, hashtag esports. First you start hashtagging esports, suddenly you're wearing esports blazers. That's how it works. And for the final bit of news, how'd he put that blazer on so fast? <sighs> so in more awesome news this week, Skullgirls officially has Big Band. That's right, that sexy saxophone man is in the game, and he's got his own story mode and stage. Yes. Yes, to get that character in the game with stage and story, they needed to raise over $400,000, and they did it! And as of reporting right now, there are 10 days left in the crowdfunding, and they have raised $443,000. Oh my god! There are two more levels left in this crowdfunding escapade, at $600,000, we'll get a new DLC character, a mystery one, nobody knows who it's going to be. And at $625,000, that random character will get a character story and stage. Link in the description below to check out more information or help fund the DLC for Skullgirls. Or just support the cause for whatever reason. And before we get into the tournament news, I have one small highlight for this commenter who has been dying for some Chris G news. Chris G has been reported saying that he's going to pick up Fei Long seriously. Maybe drop Sakura. Or keep her as a backup. So there you go. That's a thing. You're welcome. Now let's get into tournament news. Shall we? Way too hot in here for this coat. Ugh. I can breathe again. First up in the tournament news, Mad Cats is going to be at PAX East this weekend and they're going to be doing a string of exhibition matches between lots of pro players. These exhibition matches include Ryan Hart vs. Mago in Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012 and Tokido vs. IFC Yipes in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So when's Marvel baby? It's this weekend during that match. And the main event is going to be Alex Valle vs. Daigo Umahara in Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012, yeah. But if you can't make it, it's okay, you can still tune in live at twitch.tv slash madcats with a Z. Also at PAX East will be a, a fighting game community panel, so if you're there, go ahead and check that out, and I'm not sure if they're gonna be streaming that. If they're not, it's fine, I'll just wait for some the handicam footage to come out, and then I'll watch it. And unlike last week, we have some tournament results today from Versus Mayhem, hosted by IE Battlegrounds. The venue is the same place as Wednesday Night Fights, and has hosted a Versus Team tournament. This is number five in the series of Versus Mayhems, and it was just as hype as the rest of them. 
And now without further ado, here are the results from Versus Mayhem number 5. For Persona 4 Arena, in third place was Team P3, with players Delta and Jayosua. In second place was One Man Army with Sojuro and T-Lock. And in first place was Team Trap, with players Berker Dave and Jason D. For Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition Versus 2012, in third place was Team Commando, with players Johnny Mayate and then Kane Blue River. In second place was Team High Desert with players Chris and Bren2XT. And in first place was Team WNF with players Online Tony and Kino. And for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 in third place was 3 in the Stink with players Ringe, Dr. Snake Tits, and Genesis. In second place was Beautiful Dr. X with players Quasi Domo. Razorburn and Royal Flush. And in first place was the Spanish Inquisition with players PS, Wicked Mage, Kane Blue River, and Godric. That's funny because nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, no. I thought it was funny. So those are your results of the tournament. If you'd like to check out the matches yourself, go ahead and hit up the stream archive at twitch.tv slash IE Battlegrounds. And with that, I am once again wrapped for the week. I have been Will Wiley, and this has been the FGC Weekly Arity. I'll talk to you next week, but before then, here's the stream moment of the week. We have to wrap the show up here in a second. I got one more question for you that I want you to answer quickly. All right. Um, is, and it is... Uh, from Dr. Speedwagon, he says, sing us a Celine Dion song. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>